Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Sean Rankston, back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be bringing you a unique video. Uh, it's not wrestling related or anything. I'm going to be giving you my MLB 2016 playoff predictions. I'm a huge baseball fan. Uh, it goes football and then a close second comes in at baseball. Uh, the MLB postseason is very, you know, intense, high energy. Um, it's very fun to, you know, uh, follow. Um, so I'm going to be giving you my predictions. Uh, so if any of you guys are uh, baseball fans, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, you know, maybe I can gain some, you know, MLB subscribers off this. We'll see. But yeah, I thought I'd just throw this out for you guys today. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get to it. And before we get started, I just want to say that I have a couple teams who um, I really like in the uh, postseason this year. Um, a couple would be the Orioles. I love the Orioles. Um, I like them for the colors because I love the color orange and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I like uh, Chris Davis. I like um, Matt Wieters. And, uh, you know, the pitching staff's all right. So I like them. I like the Red Sox just for David Ortiz. I'd love, I'd love to see David, you know, go out with one more ring on his uh, finger. So that'd be awesome. Um, I do like the Indians. They are a surprise team um, this year. No one really expected the Indians to do anything special. But uh, I like them. And in the NL, I do like the Cubs. The Cubs are the heavy favorite to win it all. Um, I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing the Cubs win it all. And then the Giants coming from the NL as well. I like the San Francisco Giants. Um, you know, they always play well, you know, during October and November. So, you know, you cannot, you know, count them out or anything like that. So I do like the, um, the Giants as well. And the Dodgers I also like. I love the Dodgers, you know. The Dodgers really haven't done anything. You know, they haven't won a World Series in who knows long, how long. So uh, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to see the Dodgers, you know, win, um, you know, the whole thing this year. So those are a couple of teams that I, uh, you know, I'm rooting for this year. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, let's get to it. So starting tonight, we got the wild card, the American League wild card game. We have the Baltimore Orioles versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, I like both teams, but I'm going to go with the Orioles just because I like them a lot. Um, you know, I'd love to see them move on to the next round. You know, they could give Texas uh, Rangers... You know, a good run for their money. You know, maybe give it to a game five or something like that. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go with the Orioles to defeat the Toronto Blue Jays of a score to four to one. And then the National League Wild Card game is the San Francisco Giants traveling to New York to face the New York Mets. Um, I gotta go with the Giants here. Can't root for the New York Mets. I'm a Phillies fan, so cannot root for them. Um, I do expect the Giants to win this uh, regardless. Um, you know, they got Madison Bumgarner on the hill to, um, tomorrow night. So uh, I'm going to pick um, the San Francisco Giants to beat the New York Mets 6-3. to three. Okay, and then moving on to the American League Division Series, uh, we will have um, who I predicted the Orioles to take on the Texas Rangers. Uh, I, do re I really do like the Texas Rangers. It's just, you know, they, they are kind of a boring team. You know, they lost Prince Fielder. Um, they have Runin Odor, who's a very, you know, up-and-coming up uh, star. So I do like him. I do like Cole Hamels on their pitching staff and Yu Darvish. That, that's a good one-two punch. Um, you know, Cole Hamels coming from the Phillies. So that's awesome. Um, so I, I will be rooting for him. Um, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Orioles pick it up pick this series up in five games. I'm going to say they win the series 3-2. to two. Um, You know, Ubaldo Jimenez, he's going to pitch lights out. Uh, I think, you know, they're going to get that offense together. You know, they got uh, Manny Machado, a very, very bright and uh, up-and-coming star. Um, so I'm going to go with the Orioles to defeat the Texas Rangers. That's going to be my upset. And then the other American League Division Series game uh, series is going to be the Boston Red Sox versus the Cleveland Indians. I like both these teams, like I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video. Um... It's gonna to be tough to root for you know either side. I'd love to come. I'd love for it to come down to a five game series like the other one, um, and I hope it does. And I'm gonna predict that it does come down. But if I had to choose a winner, I'm gonna go with the Boston Red Sox to defeat the Cleveland Indians in five games. You know, I, don't get me wrong. I think the Indians are gonna be back there next year. You know, they got Corey Kluber. They got um, uh, who else do they have? They have um, Danny Salazar. Uh, they got all those guys. They got um, Jason Kipnis. Um, so they will definitely be there next year, but I'm going to pick the Boston Red Sox to defeat them just because it's David Ortiz's last year, and I think he's going to go out with a bang. So I'm going to pick the Boston Red Sox to defeat the Cleveland Indians in five games. And then the National League Division Series, uh, Series 1, will be the San Francisco Giants taking on the Chicago Cubs. Um, it's going to be really tough to pick this one because I really think the San Francisco Giants could beat the Cubs in five games. I know that the Cubs are the heavy favorites, you know, for the whole you know, uh, postseason on either side, you know, winning the whole thing. But you cannot count out the Giants when it comes to October baseball. You just cannot. And I think I'm going to go with the Giants to, be, to defeat the Cubs in 
four games actually. I think they'll win the, the series three to one. Uh, you know, Madison Bumgarner will probably pitch uh, in like game two or three after you know the wild card game. Um, you know, they also have Johnny Cueto, who's very very good. You know, he can throw, he can mix in you know all that unique uh, pitching styles and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna go with the San Francisco Giants to defeat the Cubs in four games. And don't get me wrong, I wouldn't be surprised if the Cubs do win this series, but. You know, I, I just can't bet against the San Francisco Giants. And, you know, it's an even year. They always play good. I know that's, you know, kind of stupid to say, but it is an even year. Uh, they've won the past three even years, the whole World Series. So I'm going to go with the San Francisco Giants. But the Cubs, you know, they have some young up-and-coming pieces in Anthony Rizzo, who's already established, and Chris Bryant, uh, Jake Arrieta, um, John Lester, stuff like that, Dexter Fowler. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Cubs do win, but I'm going to pick the San Francisco Giants to defeat the Cubs. And then the LA Dodgers taking on the Washington Nationals. I think that the Dodgers are going to take this one. Um, you know, they their pitching staff is, you know, awesome. Uh, from top to bottom, their, you know, lineup, they can mix in guys here and there. Uh, you know, you got Chase Sully at the top. You got uh, yeah, I'm Adrian Gonzalez, Yasuo Puig. You know, you just got all those guys. And I can't root for the Nationals just because I am a Phillies fan. So I'm going to pick the Dodgers to sweep them. 3 nothing, going only to three games. So uh, I'm going to pick the Dodgers and Clayton Kershaw to defeat the Nationals. And then the American League Championship Series will consist, in my predictions, obviously, of the Boston Red Sox versus the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, you know, it's a rivalry series, if you can say. I'm going to pick the Boston Red Sox to win in six. Um, I love the Orioles, but I think this this is where the road will end for them. Uh, the Red Sox are just too talented. They got from young to old, all playing well still. David Ortiz, Dustin Pedroia, Mookie Betts, um, you know, Jackie Bradley Jr., um, Xander Bogart. So, and their pitching staff is, you know, you cannot mess with them. So I'm going to pick the Boston Red Sox, like I said, to defeat the Orioles. I think the Orioles will be there next year again. Uh, you know, they are a bright and up-and-coming team. Uh, I just don't think they will be able to get over the hill and get to the World Series. But I would like to see them. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm going to go with the Boston Red Sox to defeat the Orioles. And then the NLCS, which would consist of the San Francisco Giants versus the LA Dodgers. And to be honest, guys, I am going with the San Francisco Giants to defeat the LA Dodgers. Once they get on a roll, they cannot be stopped. Madison Bumgarner, you know, owns that team. They own you know, the Dodgers in the past years of the playoffs and stuff like that, and in the regular season, they just own them. Madison Bumgarner takes over the Giants team and just, you know, puts them on his back. Um, Johnny Cueto is a nice addition, second, uh, you know, a secondary pitcher, stuff like that. Um, so I am going to go with them. You know, they have Buster Posey. They have, um, oh, crap, Hunter Pence. They got, they just got it all. Brandon Crawford, one of the elite uh, shortstops. Joe Panic, just all those guys. So I'm going to go with the San Francisco Giants to defeat the LA Dodgers in seven games. I hope it goes to a seven, uh, you know, game series. That'd be awesome. Uh, more baseball, the better. So, uh, you know, more intensity and stuff like that. More walk-offs, more excitement, and all that. So I'm going to go with the San Francisco Giants to win the series four to three against the LA Dodgers. And then what we've all been waiting for: the World Series matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the San Francisco Giants. That'll be an awesome, awesome series to watch. Um, you know, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. That's going to be an intense highly, you know, passionate series and stuff like that. Um, but if I had to choose, I'm going to go with the Boston Red Sox to win this one. I know going against the San Francisco Giants is tough to say, but I think they won't win it four years in a row. I'd love to see them do it. It would be cool. But I think that the Boston Red Sox will get it done and, you know, dethrone the San Francisco Giants, the great San Francisco Giants, and you know, become your 2016 World Series champion, let David Ortiz, Big Poppy, you know, go on a high note, um, you know, get Dustin Pedroia another ring, and get those young guys a ring, uh, get that pitching staff a ring, just get all of them a ring, John Farrell and stuff like that, so they all deserve it, um, I'm going to say that it goes to a game six, Boston Red Sox win four to two the series, it's going to be an awesome series, I hope it goes to seven, but I'm just going to say six to say on the safe side, and... Yeah, so that's going to do it for me today, guys. A very different video than what I usually do. I hope you guys enjoyed it for all the MLB fans out there. You know, MLB postseason coming October and November is just a very exciting season. You know, it's coming to the fall uh, season, so it's it's very, very, you know, um, intense, and you get so many goosebumps, so it's just going to be awesome. You know, all the teams in the 
um, postseason this year. They make a strong case. Even, you know, the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets even make a strong case, uh, you know, why they could win it. But, uh, you know, any team really could win it. It's going to be very, very exciting. Um, I can't wait. Um, you know, my sleeper team is going to be the Orioles. Another sleeper team is going to be the Giants, even though I have them all the way to the World Series. But uh, it's just going to be epic. And I hope you guys enjoy the MLB postseason. I know I will. It's going to be awesome. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media. My links will be down in the description box below. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.